and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special, Special K, K is reading a can. Special K. And tonight we're doing Urban Artifact the Gadget. I was reading it because it says, Real fruit is heavy. Gently turn over before opening. The Gadget. Are they talking about nuclear weapons? I don't think so. Uh, design of the tap room. So we've been to the tap room. Really cool uh, tap room. Uh, it's in an old church. Uh, very good use for churches, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Probably the, one of the best the, uses. I, I like I like the uh, the way you describe their bathroom with just the urinals and then the old vacuum hood for the ovens over, over top the, the uni urinals. No, it's not over the urinals. It's over the poopers. Oh, oh well, I mean that's better. Yeah, it's a, it's a poop sucker. It's the, <laughs> the giant poop sucker. The most intense poop sucker ever. So this is raspberry and blackberry Midwest fruit tart. Now this company only does tart beers. We had their pickle beer and it was awful. It was the last beer it we did. It really was Whoa. not good. <laughs> it's that color. Um, but we had a bunch of beers at their tap room and most of those were pretty good. Um, they weren't so lying thick. when Jeez. they said blackberries. That's that's framboise. That looks like, you remember the framboise? Oh, you're a framboise. Yes, I do. Uh, it's so red that you cannot see through it. Um, I don't see very much carbonation in there. Hmm. It doesn't say anything about like explosive flavor or anything. If you understand what I mean by the gadget and explosives and, and nuclear weapons, just leave it down in the comments so I know I'm not alone. So I will say, do you remember Still Reserve's Raspberry Mead? It had smelled a little bit like baby wipes at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not as strong. It does smell in, like baby in the baby wipes, wipe though. in the baby wipe foundation. That was. That was a baby wipe founded drink. It smells specifically like my, my daughter's baby wipes. It's, it's, um, you know, it's fine. Non-alcohol toddler baby wipes. Yep, that's it. Sensitive skin, I've got literally a staring There's a the other <laughs> in the baby bag right there. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's super, super. It does smell like blackberries though. They said there's 1,200 pounds of fruit in it. I wonder how much how much uh, beer I'm pretty that sure made. 1200 pounds and 30 grams of vanilla beans that's also a lot of 30 vanilla grams it's a lot of uh we do not recommend selling this beer it says very clear on that don't the, age oh it's also eight percent do not age this beer so framboise are much less uh abv so it's also a lot more forgiving wow that is good very tart <laughs> It does not, in fact, taste like baby wipes. No. It tastes like exactly what it says, which would be blackberries and raspberries. Mm -hmm. Very malty on the back oh, end. It starts out, you get a lot of the blackberry, and mm -hmm. then you, you wind up with the raspberry, like, uh, like kick tartness mm -hmm. in the back end. Definitely not uh, underripe blackberries. Like, underripe blackberries are very sour, but they don't taste like, like full, plump, Blackberries. See, me per like my daughter eats blackberries pretty frequently, but me growing up, like the only blackberries I ever ate were wild. Uh -huh. So I got used to eating wild blackberries, and they're always sour and they're always very dry. So when I ate like a store rat or blackberry, I'm like, this isn't a blackberry. This is a piece of candy. Right. Yeah, my grandparents had a, 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 a thornless blackberry bush in their backyard that took like 10 years to get established at actually making blackberries. Yeah. Ours just literally, you can drive down the driveway and reach your hand out and just grab blackberries. Yeah, and if you are driving while you reach your hand out, it just rip your hand off. <laughs> blackberries are rough <laughs> to pick, uh, unless you pick them right by the road. If you actually get into the thickets, uh, it's a rough, it's a rough situation. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this beer's good. I would drink. Um, Fussy that, picked this one out. Of it. Nice and sour. Weirdly drinkable for a sour beer. Weirdly drinkable for an 8% sour beer. Um, malty on the back end, like I said, real fruit forward. Mm. Um, it's everything you would want in a fruit beer, like a sour. This is the opposite of how I felt about their pickle beer. The pickle beer is awful. <laughs> well, I think I think it was awful because it, it should have said cucumber, not pickle beer. Uh, it, it wouldn't was... have sold if it said cucumber beer. That's true. Pick, put yourself in that position. You're going to buy a cucumber flavored beer? This beer was tree fitting. But it is an 8% big, heavy fruit beer. Mm, that's, that that is still kind of hard to, to swallow. Um, very hard to find still. Like, Total Wine's the only place that sells Urban Artifact beers in Kentucky. Um, and they only, most of the time, only have singles and they only get very limited batches in. Mm -hmm. Again, they're coming from Ohio. I mean, it is a relatively small place. I mean, the, the, their brewery is, I said it's a church. It's not huge. It's a big yeah. church, but for a brewery, it's not. A lot of their, a lot of their space is given over to, like, 
seating and and serving and so a on. A big chunk of their seating is yeah. actually outside. They do have a um, like a little rectory, and they have a stage too for concerts, which is pretty cool. Which is necessary. Then I think the actual church upstairs is where the brewery is because of the tall ceilings and what's up, which would make sense. I mean, you need a big space to make yeah. beer. The equipment um, is physically large. I'm gonna go even with the price and everything. I'm still gonna go with an eight. I think it's a delicious sour. Um, they didn't skimp on the fruit. A lot of things when they say blackberry and raspberry, you, you barely get it in there. This hits you in the face with blackberry <laughs> and raspberry. It says it's tart. It says it's got blackberry and raspberry in it. I get all of those very clearly. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. It's uh, this is. I, I have to agree with you on this. I don't think I've agreed with you all night, but uh, that is an eight beer. That's a good beer. I would drink quite a bit of that. It's unfortunately, the only thing that bothers me about this beer is how drinkable it is versus how expensive it is. This is not drinkable prices, but my God, I could drink like two of those without fair. really realizing that I've put that much so beer away. So their pints are around five to six bucks for a pint, which is normal pint prices yeah. uh, for sours, which is pretty good. And they have some that are up to like seven or eight bucks that are like barrel aged and you mm -hmm. know, whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'd recommend this beer if you can get it in your area. If you live in Ohio or surrounding states of Ohio, you can get Urban Artifact or you can order it. Definitely recommend getting the any of their beers except the pickle one so far. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, actually the only one that I've had a problem with. <laughs> All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. For watching.